so I mean like the youth's the youth's experience is basically up until the time they are so childhood blah 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 they don't have a vision they have, don't have a vision of they don't have the experience of um, people older mm -hmm. who can look back and say okay I remember that stage or that phase and what I went through and what I came out of but with the youth but that's the youth but I suppose you want to reach the youth rather than trying to reach people a lot more older who should know better. Um, to me, it's a concept of all of it. It's mm. a globe thing. Mm. So basically, I want to start from the reason why I want to even start with this podcast on something. Mm -hmm. I had a very rough of upbringing, very okay. rough one. Mm -hmm. And... Um, and I never, I never forgot. I didn't forget at all. Mm -hmm. So it's always been in my mind to support, help the youth. Because at the end of the day, mm -hmm. you keep seeing them the same thing. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter where you are in the world. Mm -hmm. It's the same pattern. Mm -hmm. And also parents, older people, mm -hmm. especially this our day and age of uh, social media mm -hmm. and uh, media mm -hmm. themselves as well. When things happen out there, the question is who? Mm. Rather than why. Rather than why or mm. what? what? Mm -hmm. Okay, because if we keep asking who, mm -hmm. then that means we will not look into the aspect of it all, generalize mm. it. Because the, part, the fact is, um, I don't want to be, um, be like a... Be, Talk about race here, mm -hmm. but I'm going to talk about race. Everything mm -hmm. you talk about is going to come to race mm -hmm. somehow. Mm -hmm. But I'm not a racial person. Mm -hmm. I've um, I've been favored by a lot of people, mm -hmm. green, yellow, white, whatever, mm -hmm. right from Nigeria down to this place. Mm -hmm. I went through some rock. I hit rock bottom mm -hmm. as part rock bottom in 2010. Okay. And it's different people mm. that picked me up okay you see what i'm trying to say mm. i got help from here there left right so mm. that's why i'm just a full person that judge people by, by individual mm. you see by virtue. exactly by i'm not i'm not here saying that and say this set of people this set of people mm. all i'm in i'm in a basket of you know what what are we going to do to mm. move from this place to another in mm. order for us to live in a community mm. that is safe for all of us mm. because what it is is that the question of who mm. It doesn't matter who. Mm -hmm. You will still be asking who. Who are they? Mm -hmm. What people? What color? Mm -hmm. Until you come to your doorstep. Mm -hmm. I was um, in two, um, two, three years ago. Two, three years ago, mm -hmm. I went to my son was um, my son was turned eight, okay. and we went to Romford to go and um, just to go have a meal. Mm -hmm. And in Romford, after we finished um, at the cinema, and we're coming down. At uh, the cinema to go and have a meal, just by that um, McDonald's and the mm -hmm. shopping mall, we just saw this young boy mm -hmm. carrying a machete. Wow! Was trying to also to at another young at, at, exactly. attack somebody else. Okay. That's it. Mm -hmm. It's an open space. What kind of ages were they? Uh, um, under thirteen, under fifteen. Between that thirteen and fifteen. Wow! And this I'm telling you is that the point I'm trying to make mm -hmm. is it can happen to anybody. Mm -hmm. That knife can go fling to mm -hmm. anyone. Mm -hmm. Yellow, white, green, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. You see how it's going to affect you. So mm -hmm. it upsets me when people say, "Who?" Mm -hmm. You see, I don't care who. Mm -hmm. This is a young child. Mm -hmm. That's supposed to be hanging about with uh, his mates, like mm -hmm. the boy he's trying to mm -hmm. kill, mm -hmm. or whatever, or be, be at home or something. Or something. That, yeah, you know, do something, but if you know, mm -hmm. than him kind. Jesus Christ, look at that God. If you mm -hmm. see the, I mean, the the gods he's got in him, mm -hmm. you know. And my son, my little boy, mm -hmm. till today, say Romford, he doesn't want to go there. Mm -hmm. As soon as but he mentioned Romford, he doesn't want to go that, there. That, that that shows in a way. Um, their home background their social home and their social and home background so social could be the communities they come from mm -hmm. and um and what that community represents and what's you know happening in that community and especially their home because for your son i assume seeing that is a shock because 
he can't imagine from his environment what will propel him to lose all identity of himself and life itself to carry on in that manner yes um, because that person is that person is showing that i'm willing to jail i'm jail is nothing i'm willing to spend yeah. my life in jail that's right you know just for respect because to do that you are really looking for respect through fear exactly you know um yeah I'm, I'm actually going to because this whole thing these young people i always believe young people i mean nobody's born to be evil mm. nobody at all but the thing is that is the origin mm -hmm. that we're now going to i'm trying to tackle mm. because i've gone through it mm. the origin the origin how much do parents know mm. how much do parents talk to your children mm. how much time do you spend with your children mm -hmm. who do you talk to mm -hmm. in regards to when your children because they stay just alive of course you know the when they are coming from children mm -hmm. to um this TV issues, to, you know that, yeah. it's mm -hmm. it all it's all happening the mm -hmm. peer pressure from them out there mm -hmm. how much time do you put in mm -hmm. these children mm -hmm. what do they say to you do you make the environment very conducive for them to approach you and mm -hmm. say anything to you mm -hmm. you know for you to be able to you know are you using your um are you using your uh, what would i say are you actually trying to use your ageism mm -hmm. or the experience, for the fact experience. that your your mother or mm -hmm. your father or your uncle to intimidate them mm -hmm. no yeah, because true. what happens to when you intimidate people mm -hmm. which also is part of bullying mm -hmm. when you intimidate people they won't express themselves they mm -hmm. won't be open mm -hmm. in order for them to say exactly what they want to say mm -hmm. and also that will also give you opportunity for you to correct them mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you see mm -hmm. what i'm trying to say and to also understand where their mindset is exactly. and how they process exactly. things yeah. you know or mm -hmm. are you busy working mm -hmm. you know chasing money thinking mm -hmm. money is all about that mm -hmm. you know everything you want to do or you stressing because mm -hmm. it, parenting is not easy mm -hmm. jesus christ is hard work mm -hmm. to be a parent mm -hmm. but the point is people you talk to meaning the professionals mm -hmm. if you notice any change mm -hmm. stop with the assumption or base on what hearsay what people say to you because you, i hear a lot of people saying you know you're using somebody else's theory mm -hmm. and putting it into your theory mm -hmm. it's no mm -hmm. there's some everybody's unique mm -hmm. and every story is different, different. Yeah. so what it is is that we need to now start talking to people that matters people that can support you mm -hmm. in order for you to get a good help for your own problems mm -hmm. In order for us to get our children off the street mm -hmm. or even if your own child is not on the street mm -hmm. in order for us to make a community mm -hmm. our streets safe mm -hmm. for our children to mm -hmm. walk on the street freely in order for us not to suddenly somebody get stabbed or get mm -hmm. whatever mm -hmm. get shot because we hear a lot of it none of the children some of them are not in gangs or mm -hmm. whatever mm -hmm. but it's just accidental mm -hmm. you know so this is the point get help the right help mm -hmm. you need to get to speak to the right people mm -hmm. if i don't know I will signpost you to people that know. That know, yeah. You see what I'm trying to say, and then in that, as much as it is, knife crime is becoming a serious social problem. It is in London, especially serious mm -hmm. social problem. Mm -hmm. You know, and even we as an adult also, where to go? Uh, you have to like, oh, I don't want to go to those places. Really love, it's really rough. Why would I not want to go to place? Can I? Can I it's just interject there? Mm -hmm. Would we say? I suppose we live in a more quote unquote caring community so we're talking about things more mm -hmm. the youth problem is this something that is really new or is it that is something that is being pointed at for example mm -hmm. 70 years ago 100 years ago kids were being sent off to wars mm -hmm. so that generation that, that could have caused that problem when i died off in wars mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and this has been history because mm -hmm. um every time adults fight um disagree is the children who do the fighting and the children you know so i'm just thinking is it because the world or the western world has seen peace for such a long time that these things are being amplified so these are issues that are just there because it's always been bad parenting mm -hmm. there's always been bad examples of parenting it's always been you know psychological issues and the way people process things differently mm -hmm. 
So is it because we're living in peace times that this has been amplified and children are not going off to war like they used to? So this is there. Well, the point is, is that, uh, like I keep saying, everything in life is subject to change. There are no more wars. Mm -hmm. And hopefully we won't see wars at our time. Mm -hmm. um, um, I know that my mother saw war and she's always going to say, like, uh, I never want to see war mm -hmm. in my life. So, mm -hmm. obviously, now there's, there's not going to be any more wars, mm -hmm. definitely. So now, what we're going to look at is uh, how to start from the origin mm -hmm. of the problem in order for us to be able to correct what is happening right now mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because at the end of the day like i put it before nobody's born bad mm -hmm. this is something that is being adapted mm -hmm. somehow mm -hmm. you know and then the community that we're in also and also the media is not making it any easy yeah the media kind of socializes <laughs> everything can't they're, not, they're not making it any easy I suppose they're trying to sell the, uh, they, exactly yeah. they have to sell the headline just plash yeah. some yeah. some bunch of black boys mm -hmm. in a so place gang mm -hmm. what is gang mm -hmm. why it's you just call a group it of like, friends it's just a group of friends yeah, because gang. they give it life mm -hmm. then they start echoing because mm -hmm. one thing you need to know is that mm -hmm. children um young people they mm -hmm. do Sometimes the message you set out there gives them power, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, like, oh, mm -hmm. you know, they become mm -hmm. martial about mm -hmm, it mm -hmm. and they start acting on it. Mm -hmm. So we need to be able to educate young people mm -hmm. because media is their business. They have to sell, mm -hmm, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So at the same time, we might not be able to clamp down on much more if children are well educated, mm -hmm. by all parents are well educated, mm -hmm. we'll be able to support our children mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's the point and okay. uh okay. i mean i i get um it's an honorable thing to try and reach the children how can you now reach the children without support to us parents for example these children all come from a home mm -hmm, they're mm -hmm. not they're not born and live on the streets so of them are some of them are but that also comes down to parenting also mm. so um how do we tackle children's issue without talking about the adults who make them and are supposed to care for them? It's just quite sad that uh, because you notice that as soon as um, or most of the time now they close most of the youth centers mm. and then um, and different community hubs that help support children and it. encourage children to yeah. exactly. Mm. So here comes the issue where are we going to be? Mm. Where are we going to stay in order for us to educate and uh, mm -hmm. support young? Because the thing is that one thing I've actually, I've got my own children. Mm -hmm. One thing I've noticed with young people is that they love to be engaged. Mm -hmm. you got to engage them. Yeah, keep the mind. Yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. As soon as, because it might, even yourself, me as an adult, mm -hmm. if I don't have anything doing, I start cleaning mm -hmm. or washing or something, the next thing I'm looking for where to go mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. one thing or the other. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. So it's back in the day, we had a lot more Boy Scouts and Girl Guides and all those things. They still things, have but, them. But they're not, not, yeah. not before, they That's were really right. very potent. They are literally something that everybody did. Mm -hmm. You know, different, you know, things. So do you think um, we should not introduce more... I think they should bring back the, all these youth clubs. Youth clubs. Bring uh, a lot of activities and mm -hmm. then get... Um, Adult to support most mm. of the parents you competitions know, like, for children to know, engage like in all this, mm -hmm. uh, a win uh, stuff. You know, people people produce music. People mm -hmm. like you, they produce mm -hmm. because you see these young people. Mm -hmm. They've got so much quality. Mm -hmm. You can't believe. I know. But the problem is they don't know who to there's, go. There's to. no outlet, so they come to negative. Exactly yeah. because what it is is that if governments mm -hmm. or community, even charities, mm -hmm. are able to. Let's assume that we have a studio mm -hmm. that um, everybody's been police checked. Mm -hmm. We know their background. Mm -hmm. They are open. We know where they are. Mm -hmm. And then they are working with this young children because these are all the things that they used to mm -hmm. groom them mm -hmm. into mm -hmm. all this uh, selling some stuff mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's oh, you can see your model. Oh, mm -hmm. this, that. Mm -hmm. By the time I know it, they're using them for mm -hmm. sex trafficking. Mm -hmm. Or they're trafficking them to somewhere, mm -hmm. or at the same time, look, you can make more money instead of you being a rapper. You know, rappers, mm -hmm. you know, they need to sell drugs and all that. But if there's a place mm -hmm. for young people, clothes mm -hmm. to go to 
and do their rap music, mm -hmm. do their dancing, mm -hmm. you know, get into serious like football, whatever, mm -hmm. then we we'll just, you know, this is how we also grow mm -hmm. our community, mm -hmm. we grow our society, mm -hmm. you know, instead of them having to find a way or some person that nobody knows who they are, mm -hmm. talking to them on the internet or mm -hmm. recruiting them or whatever, mm -hmm. and then they will talk to them into like they are going to do something because obviously they're going to first of all because they know this young people they know mm -hmm. the bad and the, the good mm -hmm. but the thing is that the adults will have to use something that they like mm -hmm. to launch them into it which have to money because i can't i love them from poor background exactly from there mm -hmm. then they will now turn into something else that we don't know so mm -hmm. until we create place safe places mm -hmm. for these young people to be able to go mm -hmm. and learn whatever thing or their talents or whatever it is that they're doing but we know exactly where they are mm -hmm. then also transit to the next level maybe mm -hmm. they become a star movie star or rapper or mm -hmm. whatever and trust me they will keep giving back to the society mm -hmm. and hopefully that's what i'm trying to achieve mm -hmm. you know because all the time we can sit there and be waiting for government all the time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i think um slowly but surely gradually by gradually we'll be building a community that understand where i'm coming from mm -hmm. and then we'll start raising that awareness mm -hmm. and uh, some few contribution we'll have young people that are designers mm -hmm. and by soon i might be bringing a lot of them talking to them mm -hmm. they're designers and they can make clothes mm -hmm. they can be sold the only thing is that they don't know where to start from mm -hmm. that's the problem they don't know where to channel their energy mm -hmm. and then they'll shine it to the wrong place mm -hmm. and that's how they get exposed to all these um, mm -hmm. problems that is becoming uh, social problems as well that, that leads now to the next one now you're a sports person <sighs> um do you intend to incorporate fitness into into yes, your activities definitely yes okay especially to adults okay. adults mainly women okay you see what I, I actually found uh, fitness mm -hmm. when I r hit the rock bottom. Mm -hmm. I wasn't into. I, I didn't even think for one second I'll be like going to the gym three times a week and uh, training and all them stuff. But I just a friend of mine. Just every time I'm complaining, I'm moaning. I was going into deepest depression. Mm -hmm. uh, I thank God for my kids. I think because I love my 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 children come fast. Mm -hmm. I think of my kids. I think of for him mm -hmm. because he was the one that just said to me, "What about because I go to the GP and they give you the, Jesus Christ that list waiting of uh, you know for you to see um, somebody mm -hmm. you know you have to wait for." And again, my background and my culture. Mm -hmm. the, trust me, culture does affect I know. you. Trust me, it, it, it tells you not. It tells you to suffer in silence. Time, I, I don't want to admit that I was going into depression. I'm going cuckoo, mm -hmm. you know. But I was really going cuckoo. Trust me, mm -hmm. I was going to, I was losing it mm -hmm. because sometimes I just lash out. You lash out on the poor kids. Mm -hmm. This is what I, that's mm -hmm. what I'm trying to say, mm -hmm. you know. But then, thank God for this friend of mine. Mm -hmm. And they said to me, have you tried? Because I've gone to GP and they gave me that list of saying, do you uh, sometimes want to kill yourself? You know the silly yeah, questions yeah. that you've been looking at. I'm like, what the heck is this? Mm -hmm. You know. So I just say, you know, I don't need this. I'm not going to be taking any tablet as the culture. What's wrong with tablet? If mm -hmm. it's going to help you take it, mm -hmm. you know, in order for you to have a sound mind mm -hmm. to, you know, know what is going on around you. But well, and don't get me wrong. I don't want to go into that mm -hmm. also, but there are issues that if, if it was solved mm -hmm. as it's supposed to maybe later, mm -hmm. later, later, as I'm going to go through, if everything, please God, everything goes through. They, everybody will understand mm -hmm. as who I am mm -hmm. and what got me and the level I'm actually going to. Mm -hmm. So, based on that, I didn't even bother with uh, any medication because mm -hmm. I said to myself, why would I take medication? Like I said, my background, mm -hmm. I'm like, nah, you know, I'm not going to take it. But then a friend of mine said to me, what about fitness? Mm -hmm. Just go to the gym. As soon as I stepped into fitness, mm -hmm. it's a whole new world mm -hmm. for me. It's like therapy. Proper. There's no therapy. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, there's no therapy better than that. Mm -hmm. Because I'm punching. Mm -hmm. I'm working out. Mm -hmm. I'm doing what I'm like. I'm not even thinking of anything as of that moment. Mm -hmm. And then that is when I started getting clarity. Mm -hmm. 
a little bit of clarity i'm from getting clarity i find that i'm as i'm approaching i'm looking good mm. from looking good i said okay i can put some more lipstick on <laughs> does that make sense, sense. and uh, i'm beginning mm-hmm. to because I don't used to take all this selfie. I'm mm. angry with myself. I'm mm. angry with my people around me. I'm angry mm. with my friends. Angry I just, life, yeah. I could, exactly. I'm always angry. I'm always mm-hmm. feeling like, um, you know, somebody's washing or somebody's talking about me. Mm-hmm. It's all in my head. Mm-hmm. But nobody really cares, to be quite mm-hmm. honest. Or people are actually going about facing their own problems. Mm-hmm. But then I'm saying that there. But from fitness you know i look at myself in the mirror and you walk past and people say whoa whoa, whoa. Mm-hmm. you know from there, like, okay what is that and then you know it's also supporting you know to get clarity of who i am the direction i'm going mm-hmm. what i want to do and then the relationship between i and my children mm-hmm. so i just feel like fitness is good mm-hmm. because it just brings it just brings the harmony because mm-hmm. looking good mm-hmm inside out mm-hmm. then it manifests mm-hmm. there you are the attitude then, uh, changes yeah, the attitude and, changes yeah, and who doesn't want to yeah. be sorry yeah. that you look yeah. beautiful mm-hmm. you know and also but not trying to look like somebody that you're not mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. that is not not mm-hmm. that is not it at all mm-hmm. i am this is my stature it's mm-hmm. who i am mm-hmm. i just turn up and i look a little bit much better mm-hmm. that's just what it is <laughs> so because i don't want somebody to love better mm-hmm. but i don't want somebody to look and say oh i want to look like beyonce mm-hmm. you're not beyonce beyonce is beyonce yeah. You are who you are. Mm-hmm. You can only look better version of yourself. That's, that's it. what it is. That's yeah. It. That's yeah. It. That's yeah. It. That's yeah. It. All right then. Um, quick intro. Introduce yourself before we close. Oh, okay. My name is Adora Anine. Okay. And, um, yeah. That's social that. handles. <laughs> oh well. No pressure. Okay. No, no pressure. pressure. Okay. No pressure. No pressure. All right. So we just keep it like very simple. Okay. And real, mm-hmm. and then um, a time goes on. We'll see okay. if people want to follow you on Instagram. What's your Instagram? <laughs> Intimates me, Intimates me. Okay, miss me. All right, so that's me. Yes. Cool. This is your boy Tochi. It was lovely talking to you, and um, yeah, we'll catch you soon. Peace. Bye.